Yeah, let's take a look at the topic of feedback and resilience. Now, as a mortgage advisor, as a salesperson, you're going to have to live or breathe by the amount of business you get in. And um, yeah, if you're on your own, if you're um, bubbling along nicely, you'll get things happening in your head that will determine your motivation. And it will, believe me. You'll have good times and bad times. You'll wake up on a Monday morning feeling okay or sad, whatever it is. You'll get all sorts of things in your head. Your head determines how you perform. Now, I'm talking about this, this technique for you. It's called feedback and resilience, as I call it. Now, we had the terrible news this weekend of Caroline Flagg who committed suicide following, I don't know really what went on, I don't really want to know, but she was trolled and she was given all sorts of feedback um, from, from the internet, from social media. She's a, she's a superstar. <coughs> I mean, she, she, she lived on, the, on social media. And it's a terrible, terrible, awful thing. Committed suicide. I mean, how, how awful. You can't, you can't even comprehend what happened in her head. Now... The big problem there is social media. Social media provides anonymous feedback. It's devastating. It's appalling. I've seen all sorts of things going on. It's absolutely awful. Often it's rude as well. Um, for example, I had this, um, this chap, um, he emailed me uh, last week about, about a product he bought in um, 2014, I think it was, seven years ago. And he wanted to know why the product wasn't available to him. And I said, well, you, know, you bought it seven, eight years ago. It's out of date now. And he came back very rude, he didn't even use my name, and he said, you know, I, I demand to have it for free, you know. No, no. Anyway, I thought, I'm not having this, I, I can't be doing life's too short. So he mailed him back, I said, look, I mean, first of all, you are talking to a human being here, this is not an anonymous Twitter posting here. I'd like you to be more polite and, and respectful, as, as our cultures require. And he got the hump about this, as he would do, you know. But the fact is, online, people hide behind a keyboard, don't they? And they give people feedback. So let's take a look at the rules on feedback. And this is quite a simple rule for you. Um, if you're getting feedback, this is how you handle it. You ask yourself three questions. The first question you ask yourself is, did you ask for it? Um, you know, let's put the proper spelling for you. Did you ask for it? Did you ask for it? In other words, did you ask for the feedback? Um, if it's yes, then go on to the next question. If it's no, then you quite simply, easier said than done, I get that, is you ignore it. So on social media, if somebody's providing you with some feedback, tell them to bugger off. <laughs> Just ignore it. Because he didn't ask for it. Just drop it out the back door. There's a Dandy Warhol song. And, and they've got this trap door at the back of your head. Just, just open up the trap door, just drop it out. Just ignore it, just delete it. Um, just get rid of it. That's the problem, of course. You, there's, there's, some people can't do that, and I get that totally. If it's rude, if it's criticism. Criticism, by the way, is designed to hurt you. Nothing else. That's what happened to Caroline. Criticism designed to hurt you, to make the person giving the criticism feel better. That's just horrible. That's just nasty. That's narcissist, isn't it? But uh, in business, if somebody comes up to you and gives you feedback, you didn't ask for it, just ignore it. This is the first question to ask yourself. Um, the second question is, do you trust the source? Do you trust the source of the feedback? Again, if it's no, you ignore it. <clears throat> if it's yes, you go on to the next question. So if you don't like the person that's giving you feedback, you don't trust them, you don't think much of them, and they give you feedback, just ignore it. It's just it's ridiculous, isn't it? And the last one, which I loved a bit as well, is are they correct? Okay, are they correct? Again, if they're not correct, you ignore it. It's quite simple, really, isn't it? Okay, that, that's a judgment on your part, and, and that can make you a little bit arrogant, I suppose. Um, if they are correct, if you think, okay, there's, there's some mileage in that, then do something about it. And if it is um, yes, there you go, then what you should do is you should act upon it. Act on it. Make some changes, make some improvements, do something different, whatever it is, act upon it, and then get rid of it from your head. Um, because it's dealt with, move on. Um, that's how you handle feedback. So in business, you'll get feedback from colleagues, you'll get feedback from bosses, from supervisors. Some supervisors provide you feedback, it's appalling. Some of them haven't done any selling for 20 years. How do they know? They'll give you feedback because they think they have to. Um, again, did you ask for it? Well, not really, but it's part of your business. Do you trust the source? Not really, because you haven't got much respect for them. Are they correct? No, they're not. Just ignore it. But that's a bit of extreme position. But if it's somebody that you value, that they're, they're you know, a mentor or somebody that's been in the business for a long time, then deal with it. If it's customers, I get that. That's fine. You have to be a bit careful. 
Do you ask for it? We often do. We, we, you know, we talk about complaints when we do the, the IDD up front, the disclosure. And we often want customer feedback. Of course we do. And we trust the source because they're customers. Are they correct? Well, that's up to you to decide. Sometimes customers aren't. Um, and act on it if they, if they are as well. So that's how you handle feedback. Um, I do it every time. If somebody gives me feedback that's not very good, it's not correct anyway, I'll just ignore it. Just, just, just psh, let it go. <laughs> Move on. Life's too short. Shane Callan didn't do that really, which is a terrible, terrible, terrible story. Um, anyway, enough of that. Leave, leave on a bit of a bad tone, but anyway, you can find out who this story.